Hello and welcome to this Pundit PI8000 tutorial. Impact Echo, Grid Mode, Measurement. On completion of this tutorial, you'll be able to perform measurements and calibrate input data in the grid mode. Step 1. Once the grid is defined, you can start collecting data. ASTM C1383-04 proposed two different procedures to perform impact echo test. With PI-8000s, a first calibration of the wave speed in the concrete must be done. Therefore, the thickness of the element must be known. Step 2. Input the expected thickness, then press OK. Step 3. When everything is settled, click the tick symbol to start the measurements. Step 4. To start collecting data. You can either doing it by arming the probe pressing the app red button. Or by pressing the device button. Step 5. To stop collecting data, you can now select or unselect the smart disarming feature. If you disable the Smart Disarming feature to stop collecting data, press again either one of these bottoms. Important! Do not separate the device from the wall before disarming it. Otherwise, you will get fake data as the accelerometer will be still on. Anytime you press the stop button, you will jump to the next cell of the grid. Whenever you press the play button, the next impact measurements will be assigned to the next cell. If you enable Smart Disarming to stop collecting data, you no longer need to press any button, as this is automatically done whenever you remove the sensor from the concrete surface. Anytime you remove the sensor from the surface, you will jump to the next cell of the grid. Whenever you press the play button, the next impact measurements will be assigned to the next cell. You can also jump from one cell to another by double tapping in the desired cell, should you want to overwrite the previous measurement. Step 6. Using two fingers, swipe up from the bottom of the app to change from time domain to frequency domain mode. You can adjust the FFT peak to the correct position if the automatic mode has not worked properly. You can navigate from one impact to another by pressing the impact button. The waveform highlighted in orange is the most accurate one of the whole series of impacts. Step 7. Then you have to do a first wave velocity calibration. By moving the velocity scroll. Until the thickness shown in the frequency domain peak matches with the expected thickness. You can also calibrate automatically the wave velocity by pressing the calibrate button. Step 8. Once you have calibrated the wave velocity, you can continue measuring different spots on the grid. The FFT peak will give you the expected thickness. You can keep recording the measurements. Step 9. Whenever you have set all the presets and validate all impacts, you can stop recording pressing this button. Once you stop recording, you will no longer be able to change the waveform information. Now you can have a look at the thickness heat map that can be seen with two different color ranges. Also, the frequency domain is shown in the front page. Now all presets are set and cannot be modified. 